What's going on guys? It's Iroh here, and yeah, I know I'm a lazy shit, okay? I haven't uploaded in a little bit, but you know, there's not really much videos to talk about here on YouTube in 2020. There's nothing going on to record, but I do have a video for you guys today, and I've got one coming out tomorrow as well. That just happened recently, so yeah, you guys do not want to miss that. But basically guys, what we're going to be doing in this video is uh, reacting to the Hollywood Fix. Now if you guys don't know who this YouTuber is, he's a big paparazzi YouTuber. Yeah, I, I didn't even know those guys were a thing. You know what I mean? Like I thought that was just Hollywood people, you know, that are trying to make it in some type of TV show or something. And they just run around with cameras all day filming. I didn't know that this was an actual YouTube thing, but there's a lot of people that do these paparazzi type channels on YouTube. We're going to be going over the Hollywood fixes today. If you guys want to see some more of this, please let me know down in the comments. The reason we're going over him is because I saw a Cody Ko video recently, and he kind of went into a few of the Hollywood fixes videos. This guy is obsessed with TikTok people. I don't know what it is. He's obsessed with the Hype House, Sway House, whatever the hell these TikTok houses are with these preteens living in them. And he follows him around, stalks them, asks them questions, and he's a grown man. Keep in mind, this dude's like in his 50s talking to a bunch of 14, 15 year olds. It's really weird. But anyway, dudes, let's go ahead, check this video out. Please do drop a like, and please do subscribe if you guys are new. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and check out a Hollywood Fix video. And uh, we'll see if he's got some good news for us about Charlie D'Amelio, uh, I guess. The first video that we're checking out by the Hollywood Fix is by some TikTok people named Blake Gray. Yeah, I don't really know who these people are. I don't know anything about TikTok. I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. You guys know how I feel about it. I think it's fucking stupid. But yeah, we're going to be checking this out. I like the cringe part of it. You know what I mean? I like when these kids try to act cool in front of the cameras and stuff. But apparently, they're trying to look good for girls or something. I don't know, man. This video is going to be funny. It's just going to be stupid. It's four minutes long. And keep in mind that this guy uploads like 70 videos a day. If you look through here, it's ridiculous. He just does not stop uploading, dude. He is on the grind. Let's be honest, man. The Hollywood Fix, he's on that YouTube grind. He's going to be the next PewDiePie. He's going to make it big. Like, dude uploads more than most people do in two weeks, including me, um, you know. So, yeah. We've got to give him some credit for that, right? I'm 6'1". <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's up, guys? Man? This video is off to a great start. We see a 15-year-old wearing a bathrobe in front of a bunch of middle-aged girls that are probably 10 times older than them. Like, they look to be at least, like, 20, 24 or something. And this dude's, like, 15 trying to flex his abs or muscles or something wearing a bathrobe out in public this is already great dude just look at this guy's face he's like oh my god he's back please just please get out of here you can see this guy's face is like dude i can't believe he's back again dude he's bothering me four times this week i'm just trying to get some girls i'm just trying to get some cooch man an old 50 year old dude named steve shows up yeah by the way his name is steve in this guy's head, he's like, oh, he's going to steal my bitches, man. Like, I'm wearing this bathrobe out here in public, man. I'm trying to flex these ads. Yeah. Man, Saddle Ranch is popping. It is popping, poppin'. to be honest. Were you at Bella? Uh, yeah, Addison's dad was there. We really? Ran Monty? Into, yeah, we I ran into Monty. OG Monty. Yeah, yeah of course. Oh my god, my god, it's famous TikToker. Let's get a picture with him. Oh my god, he's so cute with that bathrobe on. I love him. Of course, sweetheart. So how was the party the other night? As soon as this kid says, of course, sweetheart, his face zooms over to Steve, the Hollywood fix. And like, dude, just please go away. You could just see the guy's face. Like, he's complete cock block at this point. Like, dude's just trying to get pictures with girls, trying to get some Snapchats, trying to get some numbers and make some TikTok dances with them, dude. And he's over there being a complete weirdo with a camera. They probably don't want to see that. Them girls are probably just going to walk off and never talk to that dude ever again. I'm probably going to unfollow him on TikTok or something. I have no idea. Uh, I think when Tony and Andreas were I'm dancing, sure. I thought it was dope. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. You know that time when uh, Tony and Andreas, man, yeah, they were dancing. That shit was dope, man. That was the best part of that whole party, man. Oh, my God. You I feel so like good. the, the so real bad. question is how far down do I go with the unburden of the shirt? Dude, you always do the one button at the so, bottom. Okay, so uh, you got to show off the game. The <laughs> one button. The game's the one button. Yeah. You heard it right there, fellas. Famous TikTok star says, show off the bottom button. You know, you got to show those gains, those muscles that you got there for the ladies, of course. You, you got to. So, yeah, listen to his advice. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. He's just some famous TikTok star. 
Listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. I know. I could. Dude, you got it. You just got to rock it. Should I just rock it? It's about confidence. It's about confidence. confidence, of course. I love any of that. You, I know. I want to go shirt. Right. Yeah. But if you get like super lit and you just let the one button go? I mean, yeah. I'd be down. There just let it free. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I do when I get super lit, bro? I take this last button off, man. I let that shit hang free. I let all these abs out. Oh, the girls love it, dude. You got to do it. You got to join us, man. When I get lit at parties, oh, that's what I be doing. Showing these abs. Oh, screw that button. No, we don't need that shit anymore. Yeah. Of so course. I'm going to come over there. All right. All right. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, somebody acknowledged the GOAT here in this video, the Hollywood oh, Fix himself, it. Steve. Finally, some ladies acknowledged him. You know what I mean? He don't need this TikTok star's advice. He's probably not having the button, one button hanging loose, showing the abs. He's probably got, you know, a dad fit on you. Pulling these girls, all right? Clap for the goat, ladies and gentlemen. He deserves it. Oh, hey. Can you get a pick? Hey, there we go. There it is. Beautiful. <laughs> so what's the secret to you guys like work out in the morning? Like what's, games, what's you know? Yeah, yeah. just get games every day. You just hit it every day? 9 30 a.m. sharp. When, when does the Sway House uh, workout program drop? The, the workout DVD? It's actually a great idea. There you go. Oh, yeah, bro. We're making gains every day eating that protein powder, dude. Letting this last button hanging loose so I can show my ass in front of these females, man. You can't do that unless you're working out every more than a 930 stat. You, you got to get big like me. You got to show these stats, my boy. <laughs> that was a fantastic video, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and check out another one from the man Steve here, the Hollywood Fix. And let's just check them out, all right? So far, so good. You know, we got these famous TikTok stars showing us the moves, showing us the way of life, you know, that we had no idea about before. So, you know, maybe watching this guy is actually a good thing. You know, you start learning things about your own life that you didn't know about. This last video we're going to be checking out, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I know. You know, we need to watch some more of the Hollywood Fix. He's a great great channel here to dive into it's only a minute long and it has our boy chase hudson also known as little huddy you know charlie d'amelio's ex-boyfriend you know that's the only thing i know about any tiktok people is just from watching other youtubers and stuff and a little bit of drama i've heard i don't really care about them though so yeah let's go ahead and check out this whole video and see what the goat chase has to say about his apparent breakup in his last relationship ladies and gentlemen how you doing, bro? That's good. How nice. was dinner? How Chase, was dinner? man, what's oh going on, man? God. How you doing tonight, bro? Ali! Man. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Yo, Chase, man, what's up? What's going on? What's going on tonight, bro? I like how this 50-year-old man is trying to act like a kid again, hanging out with all these preteens right now. It's kind of freaky. That's what I'm saying. This guy has a weird YouTube channel. He does some weird shit in front of the camera. Like, who talks like that, dude? You're a grown man. Act like one. Quit trying to act like a little kid just for the views. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. That's why I don't really like the Hollywood fix. He's just a stalker. He just bothers people all day. Like, dude, leave him alone. I get that's what paparazzi does, but all day. You know, he's just showing up 24-7. He uploads, like like I said, 50 videos a day from what I showed you guys earlier. And I guarantee you, everybody's tired of this guy. They're like, oh, my God, Steve's back again. Please. Like, every time they see him, they get a face palm, and they just want to die. Because it's all the time. He just doesn't stop it. Yeah, I through a lot of drama, man, with uh, with kissing Nessa, man. That a lot of people, man, were like upset about that. Have, have you spoken to Josh or? Uh, n not since uh, we became civil. Everything's okay. good right now. Everything. He should get the idea that Chase wants nothing to do with him. He just keeps bothering him. I don't understand paparazzi. You know, somebody explain really what the point of them are at all especially if you're on a youtube channel a version of a paparazzi you know most of the time that shit's on the news paparazzi puts shit on the news and tries to expose other people you know but this dude's literally putting all over youtube so i don't know someone explain to me what he's doing here what the point of this paparazzi stuff is it's again steve get the idea that this kid wants nothing to do with you all right you're asking about a personal life of a 15 year old asking if he kissed another girl or whatever he feels about that who cares why would it matter to you don't you have like a wife and kids to go home to like i want to know what they think about your job themselves you know like you go home every day yeah man oh just feel chase hudson you know little huddy oh you know he, he's totally has feelings for that girl nessa this 15 year old 
I bet his family is proud of what he does for a living, man. Good right now. Okay. Now, wh what about the kiss with, with Nessa? Do you still have feelings for Nessa or? Like, what, what do you think about that? No comment. No comment. What about what about with Charlie? Are you um, are you are you still talking to, to, to Charlie? Uh -oh. You think that you'll ever get back with her? Where is everyone? Uh, also, no comment. No comment? Okay, yeah. well, if you're not going to be with any of them, do you have like a... a Chase is a straight up Chad. You could tell this man is lying right now with that Versace hoodie, man. He's over there pulling all the girls and he's over there lying to these guys' faces, man. <laughs> How could he do that? <laughs> Not yet, but I'm planning no, on it. Okay, that's cool. What? Hey. Can I also? Thank you. Wait, can I also? Ah. Wait, can you say hi, Bella? Hi, Bella. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah. Chase, we're good. Glad to see you coming back out, man. Yeah. I like your sweater, too. Take Thank care, you, bro. Bella. Appreciate good, it. Good Take seeing care. you, man. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm quitting YouTube to become a famous TikTok star because obviously they get all the girls. Obviously, they're wearing Versace and all this other stuff, which I don't understand how because apparently you don't get paid from TikTok at all. So, unless it's from Instagram sponsorships, I don't know how these kids are getting the money. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to be quitting YouTube, becoming a TikTok star, doing these cancer awesome dances, I mean. And uh, I'm just going to live my own life, you know. YouTube's in a bad place anyway, so TikTok might be my new home, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, your daily dose of Hollywood fix. Let me know if you guys want to see some more videos covering over this guy. There is tons of videos I can make fun and just just look at and have a laugh about here on the Hollywood Fixes channel. As you can see, this guy is a complete freak of a guy stocking a bunch of preteens so yeah if you guys want to see some more of these type of videos let me know down in the comments please do drop a like and please do subscribe for more awesome content like this anyway guys yeah another video dropping tomorrow is monaro peace out dudes <laughs>